Yo guys, Helix Delusion here, and we're here to cast the Helix versus ESF match. On first map is Siege of Shanghai. Got an interesting lineup for both teams. Let's look at what we got. We got Dr. Snowbear as a little bird. We got Q Fire, very very good tanker as their tanker. John 316 as his repper. On the Helix side, we got um, well, well, we'll wait here in a second. When they want to start on Chinese side. Obviously, I wish good luck to both teams. Just here to shout cast it. It's going to be very interesting. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased towards Helix side, but I will see what I can do. King Beef has our tanker. We got infantry all over the place. Um, for our heli, we have Helix Goose right there, and we'll see what happens here, folks. It's a very it's a three flag map, so there's gonna be a lot of rotations. The B flag is very, very important. Capping that is detrimental to winning this map because an AC hold is very, very difficult. So it looks like this round will be finally live, even though we got some things worked out with ESF here. I have a little bit of a problem. They obviously don't want me to ghost for my team, which is very understandable. But even though I'm not I'm not going to be doing that, it's very unsportsmanlike. So I want to see how both teams get out, see how they uh, dominate this this map in particular. There's a lot of strategies that can go, uh, so we will see how both teams tackle that. I always love doing this. It's very entertaining. And off to the start, we got, looks like we got Dr. Snowbear. He's pushing. Looks like my sound is uh, loading in. We'll raise up the sound volume a little bit. Oh, as the sound is still loading in. Alright. Oh. Goose is Pulling up here. Looks like he's going up top. Oh, both helis are going at it. Let's see who gets there. Oh, looks like they drop off some people. And then Goose is on here. He's doing a nice little battle. Oh, looks like he shot out a repper. Oh, I think he might have shot an out. Oh, nice kill by, by Helix Goose. We see here on the tabletop we got a, a massive battle in between Helix and uh, ESF right here. I think ESF is in the elevators using the IRN V-scope even though that is uh, his band. I'll just say that real quick. Alright, and we've got King Beef here in the tank. Doing some lobs across. They're doing, doing some tank things. Looks like Q Fire is here. He's watching now because he's Going for the heli. The heli is trying to get him. He's got a repper here, just guarding the gimme. Here at the start, we got. Looks like we got Helix all over the roof now. Just ESF. Looks like they're going up the elevators. They're pushing out. Grim is staying back. Oh, last man in the squad, and he gets taken down. Let's see. Still got them doing tank things. Oh, and number ten seems to be the only infantry alive on B right now. He is in the elevator. Looks like they have total control of B and C right now with King Beef right here. Looks like Sergeant Troutman is is trying to sting her. Sting her out. And it doesn't connect. So it looks here that they're maybe taking an MRAP, possibly to go to B. They got some very, very good B control right now. The tank has even gone inside B to guard it. Let's see what this MRAP has. In store. Reflex Rage good infantry player. He's got the AEK. He's pushing down, but Beef takes him out. Very, very aggressive tank play with Beef. Publicity. And it looks like the chopper's back up, so let's see what the uh, the chopper can do. Now, ESF has a lot of scenarios they could do here. They could try to use the heli for spawns. They could try to use it to back cap. They could... Oh! Did Dr. Snowbear get shot out? No? He did? He did get shot out. Looks like number 10 is flying now. Oh, and they're down. Very, very, very dominant play by Helix Goose. Looks like we're going to have a nice little tank battle here. Looks like the tank is lower. we got Muramesa here. Looks like he's going to pop up, try to shoot an RPG. He's got a couple squad spawns. He's looking around. Can't find anything. Let me lower my graphics settings so we can get a more smooth frame rate. Looks like he's trying to res here. 
Okay, gets a nice res. And looks like Helix Goose is in the chopper. He's doing some damage against that tank. He's the MRAP. Let's see where that MRAP is going. Oh, looks like they bailed out. All of them are going. All of them are going A. Seems like a huge battle over A. We've got two infantry here. Helix Maple. Helix Electrify. Camping the roofs. Doing some sightseeing. We've got Sergeant Grip. Oh, he takes out Silovic with the CZ, which is also a banned weapon. Apparently they don't know the exact rules, but it's okay. We're having a nice fun time tonight. Looks like Q-Fire. Doing some tank things. He's getting some reps, John 316. Just kind of hiding here, getting the, getting the glitch here of the tank. Let's see what King Beef is up to. Still under B. Still guarding. Oh. And just a lob of tank shell into Q-Fire there. Let's see what ASF is trying to do. Looks like we got some infantry trying to push. Oh, and reflexes and Muramesa is down. Most of ESF is uh, struggling to hold against Helix's strong tank and dominant position over this bridge. But if Reflex Rage here can find a way to flank around even to see, they have a, a decent decent idea of how trying to, to cap that flag. I think it could come back from this game. So we got some people on the roof. Got Helix Nate the Beast here. Just looking over. Sees the tank. Parachutes right past the tank. Right into the hole. Good job. He says lots of practice with that. Oh, and he takes down Sergeant Troutman. Let's see what other ESF infantry here. We got number 1047 in the MRAP. He's got some zoom optics. He's looking around. What else we got? We got Rocky here. Rocky Raccoon. With another band sight. It's okay. He's camping lower. Let's see what Reflex Rage can do here as he's pushing out with an AK. It seems like ESF has taken over the A control as they have, looks like, four to five infantry, including their tank. And King Beef is playing a very aggressive A angle here while they are waiting. Responds. Publicity being his amazing gunner. And the range finder glitch quite again. Oh, gets one. Reflex Rage. Gets another. Sergeant Troutman. And he's just gonna, he's gonna sit here. Oh, looks like a nice tank battle could be going on here. Got Q Fire playing very defensive over here. Sees one infantry. Goes to push him. See, see what ensues. Oh, and he gets Helix Nate the Beast. Who was indeed a medic. See what Goose is here. He's 12 and 1. Around the ump 45. He's Dr. Snowbear. Connect some shots. It looks like they got some infantry pushing in with RPGs. Very, very nice. Got someone on the roof. Got AIM on the roof. Just trying to shoot down Dr. Snowbear. And it looks like... Oh, is that it? Is I believe ESF's tank is down. Yes, it is down. So Helix can really push into A without any resistance now. Except for the infantry, which should be easy to clear out. Muramesa takes out Nate the Beast. Looks for another one. He sees him. He's trying to play more defensive. Gets some spawns in. Still playing defensive. I'm gonna lower the res resolution so we can get some better frames. Get above 60. Sorry for the bad quality, guys. And he goes back. Looks like Dr. Snowbear is playing aggressive. Getting hit by some stingers. Got some double reps. Which is dangerous on siege since the fact that they cannot rotate their infantry because you have two to three people in the chopper. And this is only a 9v9. But, strategy nonetheless. We've got Beef playing aggressive quite again. We've got Nate the Beast trying to push into A. His whole squad being on the roof. He's pushing in solo here. Let's see what can happen. looking around. Turns back. Goes again. Oh! He sees the DMR in the corner. Which should be... Rocky. Oh! Rocky is taken down by Nate the... Oh! Yes, by Nate the Beast. Sergeant Troutman here with an ump 45. 
Laser sight. Coyote. Just crouch walking around. Looks like he's got reflex rage flanking. Got a couple spawns in here. He's going lower. Looking for people. He knows it's burning. He gets the flag, but he knows there's people on it. And King Beef is another very, very aggressive push for King Beef. Taking out Rage. Securing the A flag for the Helix team. On Chinese side. So very, very dominant at the start from Helix. They're taking the B tower and shutting down those central lanes so they could not rotate. Very, very good job. And we'll wait for the second half, which will be Helix playing the US side and ESF playing the Chinese side. And here we are back with Helix versus ESF on Siege of Shanghai with the Chinese side being ESF, US side being Helix. We saw some very dominant plays at the beginning from Helix taking over B control and then completely harassing A while ESF was struggling to get out. And eventually even the tank pushed in, managed to come in here and clear out some the rest of ESF's infantry. But we'll be, I'm very intrigued of what will happen with uh, on this on this side because the Chinese side can actually get to the B tower first versus over the little bird who gets there a little bit later so they they could have a head-on advantage as we will see Dr. Snowbear seemed to have been harassed by stingers almost the entire game it was very hard for him to stay up in the sky and we'll see if their tank still plays defensive or if uh, if he tends to push to A like Beef did last round, we have no idea. Got some people saying send it to me on the community platoon. Yes, Helix does have a community platoon that you can join. Almost full. Has 189 members as of now. And Love is saying his, uh, his love for bluegrass gospel. Which I don't think anyone watching necessarily likes that, but if you do, shout out to you. See what happens on this very beautiful map. Going right in, seeing the map, seeing how beautiful it is, even on 80% resolution scale. Look how beautiful. It's so beautiful. This tower is so beautiful. You can just hear the wind rolling past your ears. Just amazing. Little big elevators. All right, and we're back. <laughs> Let's see how uh, both teams go out. Looks like they're not even using their MRAP here on the ESF side. Whether as in Helix is using it. See Dr. Snowbear is going up. Looking for a head-on duel. Let's see what can happen here. He's got a full, he full helicopter. Drops some people off. He's getting hit. Oh, all the way down to 50. Battling Goose. Does damage and gets taken down. Just like that. John and Qfire again, the only ones alive on the ESF team defending Charlie. Looks like we got Silvic going up the elevator on Charlie. Just gonna do some things. Got a suppressed ACWR with the reflex sight. So he's gonna try to cap the flag from the roof. Let's see what this tank can do. Fire. Seems to be getting locked by the heli. I've been having trouble with that heli almost the entire game. He sees people on the roof. Probably calls it out to his gunner, saying, please shoot those people. They take one down, take Sylvie down. And they're regaining the flag. Meanwhile, ESF is trying to make it up to the roofs. Gets taken down by Helix Aim. Here we got ESF Rocky Raccoon with an M249. Get some spawns, so take him B. Looks like all of Helix infantry is not on B. They still have the flag. Looks like Goose is doing some work over there in the heli. We got Nate the Beast. We got Helix Love. Let's look at Helix Love with the Ace 23. It's camping up there. Looking around. Got a stinger here from, from Aim. 
Let's see what he can do there. Oh, and Helix Goose looks like he took down the enemy helicopter again. Right out of spawn. Two fire battling King Beef here again. Doing a standard tank battle where they both have reps and neither of them can win. We'll look at King Beef's side. He's playing even without a repper right now. Dodging those shells like a pro. Pushing back. As you know, wasted all his shells. And this is BF4 tanking, not BF3 tanking, so you don't have unlimited shells. So we got Reflex Rage with an ADK pushing. Again. Long. With a Rocky Raccoon and a squad. We're gonna take the elevators. Let's see what can happen. If they make this push, they could potentially win the B flag and change this whole game around. With the tickets being 294, 214. Looks like they're going to take different elevators. Let's see what can happen. Again, crouching with the uh, prony with the M249. The hollow site, which is not exactly my favorite site. Get some squad spawns. And he doesn't know that the elevator opens on the other side and they get taken down by aim. Seems they're getting a field of view glitch here. And there's aim. He's the dude. Another heli bolt duel here. Got two reppers again. They're both, both hitting each other. One's on fire. He dips and he's taken down. Let's see what we can see. Mermasa going up the elevators again. Helix infantry watching the elevators. Aim takes out one. Three loads. He knows he's spraying. Pressed M249. And he gets taken down by Rocky. And Rocky gets taken down by the helicopter. Very intense. Snow Bear trying to take this to see. But getting shut down by Helix's infantry. Which seems to be like King Beef. He's pushed into their spawn. Which is a very, very aggressive push there, running the CFA emblem. And it looks like to seem like. Oh, ESF has taken over A. The whole back cap, and looks like they're all spawning in there. Let's see. Into Hate the Beat's perspective. See how he engages his flag. Damages himself a little there from the fall. Goes in with flying colors. And damages himself again. Gets another buddy parachuting in. There's indeed Helix Love. He's looking for him. It looks like Nate the Beast, number 10, seems to be the only one left in the squad. Only one on A. Switches kits. After he has taken down Nate. Takes down Love. Very good, very good play. Seems like Helix King Beef, XTS King Beef, soon to be Helix King Beef, is on this A flag again. Protecting their back cap. As a tank should do, taking down Dr. Snowbear and keeping the pressure on ESF. Looks like we got Reflex Rage going up. This very awkward field of view glitch. He's playing this angle here. He knows the hell he's there, doesn't know what to do. He's running around, trying to get to safety. As his teammates are going up the elevators, we got Rocky here. Who else we got? We got number 10. We go on the right side of the elevator this time. See a nade. Dodge the nade. Gets some all out. Goes down the helicopter. I mean, goes down the elevator because he's scared of the helicopter. And Helix has still managed to hold B. It's a very, very close battle on B. Nate the Beast. Love. On the lower floors. He knows that they're going up the elevator. So he goes up there too. Got Aim watching the elevator. It's a very good elevator doorman. Oh, he takes out one, takes out Rage. Oh, almost goes his teammates. Looks like ESF is pushing from the elevators. Starting to trap him. I'm looking somewhere to the right. I don't know where. But Helix Slough and his crew are up on the top roof, which are very, very hard to kill. If you don't have a helicopter, which they do not right, do not right now. As Helix Goose has been 
a dominant force going 24-0 on this side. Takes out Reflex, going up the elevator. It looks like ESF's tank is out by Electrify and Maple Syrup on the roof. They're capping it, and now there's no objection to that cap until ESF spawns in. It looks like they're spawning into the right side. Sergeant Troutman here with an RPG, aiming to take down Goose. It's taken out by Goose. And publicity in the Abrams and King Beef dominating. Seems like we only have... Oh, we, have, we do have a heli. He could get some spawn drops here. But he immediately goes for the 1v1. He sees a stinger. He's on fire. He dodges the stinger. He's getting repped. And he gets taken down by Goose. Number 1047 being the only one left on his team. And he is seen by the tank. And GG to Helix. Both teams putting up a decent fight. And we will switch the map now to Golmud.